for the wrist x-ray, we'll be doing the PA oblique and the lateral. This can be accomplished three on one. Collimate tight on the sides and you do want to get either most of the metacarpals or almost half because the radiologist usually likes to see well beyond the actual carpal bones and as well as the distal forearm. So be sure the fingers are tucked under because this does bring the wrist down closer to the image receptor and you can see this, the joint spaces a little better. So this is our PA oblique, I mean PA, and then we're going to the PA oblique where you just turn the hand up approximately 45 degrees. Central ray is going to be right at the carpal bones. Check your collimation. We do have it open. And then we're ready for the oblique exposure. After that, we would go on to the lateral and bring the hand up all the way on its side. Again, check to make sure you do have a shadow anteriorly and posteriorly of the hand here because if it's in too tight, you'll be cutting off a portion of that. So that is our lateral wrist.